The way that you start designing a mission is you start by understanding the science. What are the science questions? What are the real driving science questions that people want to answer? And then what you do is you spend a lot of time developing requirements on hardware, requirements on science instruments in order to accomplish the science that the scientists want to do. When we, when we talk about establishing requirements, we actually talk in terms of levels of requirements. So there, you can start from what we call level one, which are big general requirements, like I want to study the clouds, I want to measure the clouds, I want to be able to measure where clouds are and how deep they are for four years or five years or something like that. Then you take that and you go down another level. You go into the next level, say level two requirements. And level two requirements could be in order to do those things that I stated in level one, I would need a radar of a certain kind that has certain capabilities. I would need to be able to transmit the data that I'm collecting down to the earth. How many times am I going to be able to do that? I need to be able to command the spacecraft, um, make sure that it's operating properly. So you get really into a lot more detail. So you can even go farther, you can go level four, you can go level five. Developing requirements involves a lot of teamwork. Um, at first, you talk to the scientists and you find out what they want to do. And they usually want to do everything they can do but you can't afford everything that they want to do. So you have to ask them a lot of questions. You have to paint a picture or a little bit of a trade-off between what they want to do and what you think you can do. You really bounce a lot of questions back and forth. Do I really need this? Is that something that you just like to have? Or is it something that you absolutely have to have? Then when the instrument or the spacecraft is built, then we test and make sure that we've actually fulfilled all the requirements. So we have a series of tests that we do to um, basically prove that we built what we said we needed.